We need each other, to some extent, huh? according to the situation. We need each other, which is a great uh, subject of, uh, I would say, reflection or meditation. Because if I need somebody else, how I will I relate to that person? If I need somebody else, okay, somebody else is somebody else. It's not me, it's somebody else. That somebody else has his own character, personality, wanting, desires. So then, that together open a big door of what is it to do something together or to be together. What is it? What, what will we be? so that we can do that together. In, you can see that behind that together, that can be a lot of uh, opportunity to learn, to discover. So that togetherness is also within us. And if we don't start, we can also say, unifying ourselves, and it's a big job. Then how can we be together in a group with others? Thinking that each one of others is also not one, but maybe two or three or four or five. It's become very complicated. Huh? So you can see that if there is no, not something which is kind of uh, stronger than all this, which can channelize and unify, it needs a lot of uh, yeah, work and time to manage that uh, crowd, that crowd that can be a group. A group of ten can be a crowd of thousand. Huh? If we want to help, if we want to be uh, part of changing something outside, we know we have to change inside. Spirituality is really to develop our inner strength, compassion, and to find our, I think quickly, to find our true nature, which is what Amma is imbibing. I mean, it's uh, the embodiment of, of is uh, unconditional love, but at that level, there is no more any problem. You know, I must say that uh, if we can develop that compassion, 90% of the problem of the society are solved. So if we have a little willingness to solve some problems, we know that what we have to develop is compassion. And she added, she added in that speech, the other important quality is awareness. She said that if we want to help, we cannot impose, you know, what we feel is good to the people. If we want to help, we can bring awareness. Ama says that for everything to have its result, three factors are needed. Anybody knows these factors? Yeah, effort, grace. Yeah. Anybody know the third one? Effort, grace, grace. The proper moment. <laughs> yeah, I must say there is the appropriate time. It's ripe. Proper moment. Effort. Haha, -ha, we cannot avoid. You can hear that word. Effort. <laughs> and grace.
together, and maybe I will end with that, means also together is not to divide. And see in that world, in our days, it's that society, which, uh, that civilization, which is to be totally resolved. We have, we have really a big job, and we, every day is counting. So, not to divide. And that civilization in which we are in the West has given so much importance to science, technology, materialism, against values, spiritualities, religions. And in that same speech of Amma, last week, in the UN, she said a sentence which I was like, wow. You know, when Amma says something, it's not, uh, she does not uh, just stay out of uh, anger or uh, desperation or, you know. She says because it is true. Actually, it's, it was cute in the, in the beginning of her speech. She said something that I have been pondering a lot about nature, about the world. Yes, you can see, imagine I'm thinking about meditating on the world. She must see things that we don't know. And that sentence, that sentence she said, is that seg segregating science and spirituality has been the greatest crime against humanity in the past century. I don't know, I feel, uh, my God, I feel to ask her, how can she say that? I mean, there uh, have been so many crimes against humanity which have been so big, but segregating science and spirituality. So when I read that, I really want to understand what she means. And this, is, this brings me to another meeting that was in France with all the spiritual leaders, but from France only. Which is interesting, you know, spirituality is really coming back. And the outcome of it was that climate change, it's a problem of values of morality and spirituality. I don't know how the scientists will be able to hear that. And that make me come back to what I said in the beginning, how Ama can develop so much of research, science, when, for us, when we see what science has led to, we can think uh, but science is a big problem. Science has destroyed nature. Yeah, because it was separated from spirituality. It has lost the values, the uh, soul of humanity, and it's going anywhere. Our, I have to say, for me it's very clear, our civilization, our society, our Western civilization has lost its direction. So it's going anywhere to destruction. So we have to harness, harness, yeah, harness, we have to harness, science is okay, but we have to harness it strongly, not superficially, very strongly to spirituality. What is spirituality? One of Amma's definition of spirituality is that it's compassion in action. It's awareness in action. Compassion and awareness. Compassion and wisdom. Consciousness. Whatever, we can put it in whatever little action we do in our day-to-day -day life. When we take a bath, 
shower. We can link that every drop I'm wasting, it's not compassion. It's not awareness. And it's become challenging, eh? If I eat too much food, it's not compassion, it's not awareness. So it's also something we can train. And it's become very, I would say, so interesting and so uh, alive if we have that objective, let's say, compassion and awareness. Whatever I do, I will uh, have the, let's say, the, the uh, I will com I mean, put it, I don't know the word, put it, is it compassion, is it awareness? If we do that, we are in uh, exactly what I said, 90% of the problem of the world will be solved. Is it not that why we want together a better world, a happy world, a world without people being rich beyond imagination and being poor beyond imagination? That gap has to be filled. It's not together. And basically it's to bring awareness to all of us because uh, it might, uh, you know, challenge our day-to-day -day life. But we cannot not do it, you know. It is our responsibility and you are the youth, you are the future of the world. So, I must say, imparting awareness is what we can do to help and with compassion because without the compassion we are losing the soul, the very soul of humanity.